Good morning. Just woke up a little bit ago and it's time to make breakfast. Cooking in the van is one of the most challenging things. We're gonna do it. So first step is to take all the stuff out of this cabinet so I can get to my stove. I haven't cleaned this really either. Actually, I did clean it once and then it immediately got dirty again. I haven't cleaned it since. Grab the butane, pop that in there like that. Now like that, before we turn it on, always open the fan just a little bit. It's recommended to use this outside. A lot of people use it in the van and no one that I know of has blown up yet. So crack the vent fan, so far so good. All right, for breakfast, we're going big. We're going sausage and eggs. I'm not the healthiest eater, but I'm also not the worst eater. Sometimes I go with turkey sausage. Today we're going pork sausage. Pots and pans, nice. I got three in here. I'm gonna do the sausage first. Now, one of the other reasons why I prefer to do turkey sausage over pork sausage in the van is because this stuff is greasy and it makes a mess quick. Turkey sausage, not as much, but pork sausage is just much better. Not better for you, but better. Crank this on like that. And that's gonna start sizzling, so we cover it up so we don't get too greasy. All right, getting kind of slow. Oh! <laughs> that's what happened. So, where's my fork at? I lost my fork. Oh, found it. Roll these bad boys around a little bit. Oh, burning up. Burning up. Burning up to you, baby. A lot of times I'm just, oh man, it is smoky in here. Gotta get the fan on. It's gonna get a little loud in here. Look at that, you can see, you can see the sunlight coming in through. Hopefully you can still hear me. Now I got the fan on. We gotta turn this bad boy down a little bit. You usually don't have this much trouble here, but because I'm trying to pay attention to you guys, we're getting a little off the rails. Oh geez. Oh man, ruined it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, forgot about this guy. Oh! I wanted to eat Cheerios this morning. When I said, you know what? YouTube ain't gonna like Cheerios. There's no fun in Cheerios. All right, we're getting close, getting close. A couple, another minute or so on the, on the sausage. All right, clearing out here a little bit. Whatever. I have a real bad habit while I'm cooking. Cracking open the fridge, grabbing a handful of semi-sweet chocolate chips. My weakness. Chocolate chip cookies really are my weakness, but semi-sweet chocolate chips, a little bit healthier. And with cookies, I eat the whole box in a day and a half. This bag lasts me about a week. There's probably so much grease on my pillows here. Whatever. No, I really do try to try to minimize it. Keep the flame down low. Getting ready for the eggs. Cut that off. Ow! Where's my thumb? Some of this grease off of the sausage. I gotta switch back to turkey. All right, time for the eggs. My friends and I have an argument, have a debate, an ongoing, a, a, a probably 10 plus year debate on which point the eggs become scrambled. Honestly, it's like 50-50. People almost get in physical altercations over this argument. What do you think? Are they scrambled in the bowl after you crack them and mix the whites and the, and the yolks together? Or are they scrambled in the pan when you're cooking them up? Today, I'm gonna combine both the processes because less dishes is great in a van. We're not gonna use a bowl. We're gonna crack it right here on the edge of the sink. Pop. All right. This would be beating the egg. Beating the egg. I would normally do this in a bowl. And then get this. I don't know if you can see it. No. Oh! And I have a lot of friends that are calling this scrambled eggs. Wrong. 
This is not scrambled eggs. This is a beaten egg. Now, as we turn the heat on and begin to cook the eggs, that's when we scramble. Another tough part about cooking in the van is the fact that I only have the one setup here. So I can only cook one food at a time. It's really tempting not to eat the other food while the next food is cooking. Luckily, eggs are quick. Eggs are quick to be scrambled. We should be ready to go shortly. All right. I think we're ready to eat. Cheers. See how sausage. Sausage is a little bit cold. Not cold. Not cold. I mean, I mean dramatic. But it's not as hot as the eggs. Turn the fan off. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Turn it down a little bit. I think the sun's out today because my battery was on the fritz. I woke up to it beeping this morning. It's like, yo, let me get some power. All right. First part of cooking. Clean up time. Let's get the eggs away. Oh. Without breaking them. First thing I usually do is get the stove away, make sure it's not too hot. Right. And I like to get my dishes organized. Throw the, throw the egg, egg shells out. Oh, grab my knee pad here. Oh. I'm done. If I run across any little ducklings, I can clean them up. Conserve water as little as possible. Do a quick little scrub. The reason I got this stuff is because I saw it on a commercial. And it's supposed to be like easy to spray. It's supposed to clean it pretty well. A little bit of water. Once I get most of the soap off, grab my towel here. Give it a quick dry and off to the side. Next we do the pan. Pop, 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 pop. So this is so much easier than actually putting soap on a sponge. Oh, a little, little much there. This sink is actually just a salad bowl with a hole cut in it and a drain attached. And after we put it in, I kept watching more videos on van builds. And everyone's like, don't do a round sink. It's so hard to wash dishes in a round sink. But I, see, the, that's the other thing. The van, the whole van build is slow. I know, I know everything is gonna be tough. Would it really be that much different if I had a, a normal square box, cube sink? No, I don't think it would because Either way, I still can't have a big sink in here, so it's still gonna be tough to wash dishes. So, screw you and your square sinks. My round sink works fine. Start the day with a couple vitamins. Men's Health and vitamin D3. I don't know what these do. My mom makes me take them. Unpopular opinion, anything gummy, not for me. Never really liked like Gushers, fruit snacks, gummy bears. Not really my thing. So that is how I cook breakfast and pretty much every other meal right here in my vein. If you're interested in seeing how the rest of my day normally goes, you can check out my first week of full-time van life. That kind of runs through my entire routine, what I do in one day of living in a van in Las Vegas. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Also head over to my Instagram so you can follow me over there at Dungeon Official as I post stuff so you can keep up with me in real time. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.